So what makes a professional or a major softball player and a major softball team so good? In this video, I'm going to try to figure that out. Come with me this weekend as I shadow Resmondo, arguably the number one team in the nation right now. So we're going to the Smoky in Tennessee. I'm all packed up and we're going to watch their games, going to be in the dugout with them and try to see what it is that makes them so good. That's right, Tim West Gamgee, just hanging out in the airport. Look who I ran into, this guy, this guy Something. right here. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. I'll meet you sometime. Uh, got Pinky on the brain here. Yes, yeah, cool, my friends. When I take over the world, I shall make sure that all of your shoes are coated in tomato <laughs> juice. Yes, it's part of my latest plan to take Ooh. over the world. He went five for five, beat Robo, and went five for five, beat Irvine. That's right. And Irvine said he went four, right? Yeah. So you pulled a Cole Campbell and you. Right. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, so one tip to be a better hitter what's your first thing that you would tell somebody? T work. T. Cut it. Yep, cut it off the T. Put the ball about right up here and learn how to cut that pitch. And try to hit that wherever you. You know, wherever you're trying to go. You right. Just start Trial out by trying to hit a line drive right back at the pitcher, right back at the screen, and then just go from there. Uh, that way you can try to, because like when I'm trying to hit a tee, I'm not trying to do, hit a one that curves, I'm trying to hit one that backspins straight through my hole. So yeah, I mean, you just play with it as you go. It, the further back, that's the ones you're hitting down, you know, three, four hole, uh, maybe glove side pitcher, other, you know, out front and high. That's the ones, I mean, it's, it's easier to cut low pitches, it's harder to cut high pitches. Do you back off the play? Than, no, I try I try to stand in the same spot every time. I try not to let the defense know where I'm going. Understand you need a plan. Understand going to the box with an idea. You go into the box with nothing in mind, you can't accomplish anything. You gotta have a plan. What does that look like when you step into the plate when you say have a plan? Is my plan just don't get out? <laughs> no, it's it's the plan of where you're trying to attack the ball. How is that pitcher pitching? How is that pitcher pitching other people in the game? You know what I'm saying? Things like that are all going to change the situation for you. So you got to understand that and have an idea of what you want to get done in the box, depending on who's on base, where they're at on base, how many outs you have. If you're just going up there looking to free swing, I mean, most of the time you have no idea where, you're, where the ball's going then. So you're just, you're just swinging. You got to have an idea. You got to have a plan. Be ready to attack. We're about to head down to the meeting before BP. Um, every good team hits. Anybody want this bag? It's a good time to get loose, get your mind right before the first game. The worst thing you could do is go out there and uh, drop a turd on your first game and then you have to work through the loser's bracket the whole tournament. Best thing that helped you be a better hitter, like when you learned it, when you figured it out? Uh, I mean, honestly, just trust in your swing, if, if I'm being honest. I mean, everybody swings different, so the only thing that's going to help you be better is trusting your swing, finding what works for you, and just repeating it, you know? Awesome. What does that look like when you're practicing or in a game? Huh, for me, it's just Jesus. when I hit BP, I'll hit, you know, 15 balls to right field, 15 balls through the middle, and then pull 15 balls. I don't ever really concentrate on hitting home runs in BP because that's something that just about everybody can do, right? It seems like normally in the big pressure situations is a base hit versus a home run situation. Yeah. Uh, what do you think something is that helped you become a better player? Uh, for me, is hitting strikes in BP. And then <clears throat> believing in 
what you took to BP, you took to the game, no matter what. Like it's easy to go to BP and, and go 10 for 10 in a round, but you have to take that same mentality, no matter what, to the game. Uh, so everybody's great hitters in BP, but you know they see the defense out there and it changes their their approach and their mentality, and it's like you can't do that. What so? What do you focus on to kind of get that out of your head, or what's that mentality sound like in your head? To me, it's uh, you know it's just muscle memory. So it's like believing what you're doing. You know, trust the hands, hit a strike. You have any you have any phrases that you say to yourself or um, things you're focusing on when you're at the plate? Yeah, hit a strike, trust your hands. Okay, that's it. It's, it's that simple. People make it too hard. I mean, at the end of the day, it's underhanded, man. And whatever you do in BP, and you have to take BP, uh, you have to take to the game. So it's it's translating from what you do in BP to, to the game. That's how, that's how you become successful. Nice. No. We got the men's major bracket here, and let's find Resmondo. There we go. So the team Glove Daddy one plays into Resmondo right here, playing 215. That is in a little bit. The win play at 9:30 tonight. Looks like Competitive Edge has already won 41 to seven. Into the first inning. First Super jumpy. Better get loose, buddy. Sit back KP there, big the boy. Sit top. back. Somebody's excited to be on the mic. Yeah, he too. likes the Smokies. Come on, buddy. Right center, smooth. That a boy, good ball. Easy now, easy stuff. Okay, oh. 
Hey, my man's happy. I got a damn senior turret next week. I'm still tied him in home run derby. Home run derby. That's talking a game. <laughs> both going to score for the game. Resmondo wins 30-0 their first game. <laughs> but you were caring too much. How'd it go for y'all? How's the mentality? We had a whole lot of singles and a couple doubles and five or six homers. Connie had some good long temper tantrums. They went over the hills and through the woods. All you need to do is get some moldy cleats and a temper tantrum and you can act like Connie. Yeah, you always want to put people away early, whether it's your first game Friday or your last game Sunday, it is what it is. You How does this tournament home. change your mentality? Like, this is unlimited home runs, but like on a normal tournament, uh, how is it different? Uh, I mean, you have guys who usually work on hitting it down, like myself, and then you have guys like Phil who work on hitting it down, and he doesn't really hit it down. But he tries to <laughs> on the little fields, but even though he doesn't. So then he gets to come here and he gets to hit long ones, and I get to watch Phil hit long ones. Okay. 